Okay, my dear students, every year at least one problem will come in which you have to select the correct formula. So in this problem given here, what is the correct formula? What is the best method to solve the problem? Instead of going for derivations, the simple shortcut method is to go for a different approach that is called as dimensional methods. How can you solve this problem by using the dimensional methods? Uh, okay, it's very simple. If you see the options here, you can observe and find out that second option is going to be the correct answer. How can you find out that? Uh, this is just like a trial and error method, but a very efficient method it's very simple to solve let us uh, see here what are going to do now so for example in the second pro in the second option if you observe he is asking us to find out the frequency uh, that is frequency f is going to become 1 by 2 pi uh, square root of y a by m into l okay so now you all know that <clears throat> you can uh, say that uh, 1 by 2 pi doesn't have any dimensions but if you observe here, uh, Young's modulus, there is a formula which is nothing but force by area. Okay, force by area is a dime, is a formula for Young's modulus because extension by uh, means stress and strain, stress by strain. Stress is having dimensions, but strain is dimensionless. So, need not write the formula for strain. You can just write the formula for stress that is force by area into again area divided by m into l. So area, area gets cancelled here. Then what is left here? Let us see. So if you write the dimensional formula for frequency, that is, uh, what is that force? Force is nothing but mass into acceleration divided by mass into length here. Okay. Then mass, mass gets cancelled here. Mass, mass gets cancelled here. What is left? Let us see here now. So acceleration is left, which is having a dimensional formula LT power minus 2 divided by L. LL gets cancelled. And what is left if you observe here, uh, only t power minus 2 is left which can be written as t power minus 1, okay. So therefore, t power minus 1, you know it is representing 1 by t and both are going to be same here. LHS is going to be equal to RHS because frequency is nothing but reciprocal of time period. In this way, you can solve the problem in fraction of seconds by just going by the method of dimensional formulas. Thank you very much.